I don't know what to expect. It's my first baby, so I have no idea what I'm doing. I know I'm a little bit crazy. I don't know, I slipped the word. Welcome if you're new. My name is Amanda K. Today I'm very excited because I'm finally filming my own what's in my hospital bag video. I have been, hi! <laughs> hi sweetie, how are ya? This is Gucci. Always needs to be involved. <laughs> so I have been watching what's in my hospital bag videos since probably the beginning of YouTube. I don't know why, <laughs> but I had such an interest. Anything what's in my bag, what's in my purse, I love those videos, but hospital bags specifically just like really intrigued me, scared me a little bit, <laughs> but now I'm making my own. So it all worked out. I have tons of experience, so let's get into it. So these are the bags I'm gonna be bringing to the hospital. So I will link them down below. They came with the third bag, which is inside this one. This is from Amazon and it was pretty inexpensive. I wanna say from memory, $120 but I'm not exactly sure. Definitely check out my description box. It will be linked for you guys. The color I got obviously is pink. It's kind of like a rose gold almost. I guess I should take this off. Oh, there's no turning back now, girl. So we got a hard suitcase, which can actually be like a carry-on. This is like a pretty good carry-on size. That's definitely my carry-on size. And then there's this bag here, which is the baby's bag. And then inside here, there's all of my stuff and an extra bag that they gave me, which is like the medical stuff. So let's do the baby's bag first, why not? So I'm just gonna move this down. So this is what the bag looks like. Now you can obviously tuck this in. This has a Velcro on top to hold the straps together. So this is a really nice size bag. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for after the hospital bag. I mean, it can even be like a diaper bag, although I have a diaper bag, but like an on the go, I'm not sure. The first zipper here, all I have right now are baby wipes. These are fragrance free, which is the ones that they recommend for newborns and just babies in general. So that is what is in the first pocket. Now let's get to inside the bag. And you guys know it's my first pregnancy, my first child. So if I forgot anything at all, please don't be shy. I'll leave it in the comment section. Let me know what I forgot to bring to the hospital because I can definitely use your help. <laughs> if you guys know what you're talking about, I would really appreciate it. So for the baby, we have this swaddle. So this is like a super cozy swaddle i got it from one of my friends from my baby shower and i literally just want to crawl in here and sleep although i don't know if this is the best option for a newborn just because of the material so this might be like after she's a few days old or a few weeks old so i did bring another swaddle just in case i did bring another swaddle so this is a just like a gray typical swaddle so the baby obviously goes in here put the legs in and then there's some velcro here it's kind of hard to explain while holding it this way but you basically wrap the baby up like a burrito <laughs> and there's velcro on the side right here now the next item are some burping cloths this is also from the hospital website so i learned that if you go on the hospital website that you're going to deliver at in my area anyways they have a list of things that you should bring to the hospital like a hospital bag checklist which is really nice so they are recommending to bring burp cloths so these are from comfy cubs and they're just gray all of my stuff you guys are going to see is very like neutral colors that's just been the theme for other than my baby shower which was like barbie pink theme but the rest of like the nursery and stuff like that once i do the nursery reveal you guys are going to see it's very neutral colors next i have some newborn diapers so these are size one they are so tiny <laughs> like I just can't so they actually recommend on the website to bring an entire pack of diapers I just brought these I might bring more I guess it would depend how long we're at the hospital so I might just bring more just in case but I wanted to start off packing the bag with those then we have the famous little bring baby home outfit now I think I might change the outfit just because and I'm gonna explain the outfit for a newborn should 
based on the people I've talked to who have kids and the internet should be um, more of like a onesie instead of like a two piece just because it's harder to, Gucci is so interested in this, um, just because it's harder to put on a newborn and they're not really used to it and you're not used to it. So I think I might be changing my outfit, but I wanted to bring a second outfit just in case. So right now I will be bringing this outfit, but I will also find like a onesie to bring. I just don't love the ones that I have for newborn size right now. So I might buy myself one. So these are the little pants. I mean, what? Look at the bum. How cute are these? And then I just went with a plain white t-shirt. Well, a onesie. So this is literally newborn size. I can't believe she's gonna be that small. I mean, I, I can't believe it and I'm grateful she's gonna be that small. But how friggin' cute is that? I also got these little slippers, which I don't even know if she's going to wear right away. But if I do the onesie, I'm going to do the onesie with the slippers built in. However, you guys, how cute are these little slippers? They have little stars and moons and clouds sleeping on them. They are so adorable. And then I also brought this little hat. <laughs> I'm also going to bring a headband just because I don't know if a hat is the best option for a newborn. It is obviously very stretchy, um, but I'm going to bring just like a headband with like, I don't know, a ribbon or something just to put on her head just for like a cute picture. <laughs> and then I also got two pairs of mittens. So these are the anti-scratch mittens so that the baby doesn't scratch her face. So I got this um, just plain gray one. And then these are more like see-through. So I got these as well. I just wanted to bring a few pairs just in case because as I said, I don't know what to expect. It's my first baby. So I have no idea what I'm doing. And I also brought these little socks. These are so cute. These are actually anti-slip socks. Not that she's like going anywhere right away, but these little socks, they look like little Christmas socks. Um, these are newborn size as well. Got these, like how adorable. Get for like the actual baby stuff. Now let's get into my stuff. And then I also have the medical stuff, of course. What I like about this suitcase, I haven't used it yet, but I know how these suitcases work, is the 360 wheels. So these wheels are super, super handy because it's just a lot easier to travel with the 360 wheels versus just like the front and back wheels. So this is not necessarily in order because I will fix it once I film this video. So it's kind of just all thrown in here. These are the essentials that I have packed. I have a hospital list on my laptop here. So let me just look at it because there are some items that are not packed yet that I'm gonna pack like the day before or like a few days before, just like snacks and stuff like that that could be more fresh. So I will name those items for you guys. We need makeup, which I do my makeup every day, most of the time. So I'm going to be putting that in my purse. It's always in my purse, like my to-go makeup bag. So that will be like later. My glasses, I, I'm gonna use from now until I give birth. So I kept those out of the suitcase. My charger, I charge my phone all the time. So obviously I need that. Tripod, I have my little tripod, but I'm using it to vlog. So again, that's gonna come later. A water bottle have one in my car and then cash for vending machines and snacks so those are the items that I don't have packed yet just because I will be doing them right before we leave so for my items let's start off with the medical bag so this is the other third bag that was in the suitcase um, I think it's really really nice it's a very nice size especially for like a makeup bag or obviously a travel bag for the medical accessories now I did kind of throw these in just now because they don't fit in this bag necessarily. So these are, um, depends, not that I want to bring this, but I heard that these are necessity. So this is that. And then I of course have a ton of pads because you need that. And then I got this Freedom Mom um, spray. I forget what this is called exactly, but it's very, very popular like on TikTok and people who give birth videos. <laughs> so this is for after care to clean yourself. So I got that. And I also got this nipple cream. So this is from Lancino HPA Lanolin uh, Susan Protect Sore Dry Nipples. So this is for breastfeeding. So I just brought that to the hospital just because 
I don't know, if I start to have pain or something, at least I have that. And then the last item in here is in this little bag, which came with it. These are nipple pads, so they are actually reusable. You can like wash them and they're like soothing nipple pads. So they, they seem so large, but I don't know. This is just the ones I got from my baby shower. Next, I have this little um, travel kit. So this is like all of my essentials. Again, I don't know how long I'm gonna be there. My hospital discharges after 24 hours. If all goes well, there's no complications and you don't have a C-section. C-section, I think is 48 to 72 hours if I'm not mistaken. So we'll see how long I'm there, but I wanted to bring essentials. So in here I have a toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, I have all of my skincare items in like little tiny containers. I have some face wash, some hair wash, some um, dry shampoo, and Q-tips, bobby pins, stuff like that. So just like the essential stuff. Oh, body wash as well, just in case I take a shower there. So like the essentials. Also, I know that they have baths in the room. So I'm thinking if I take a bath, it would be nice to like have some of my stuff there. Speaking of shower, I bought myself this um, pair of flip flops. This is from the dollar store, so I thought they were super nice color though. Um, my favorite color is this light pink. So just cheap flip flops that I'm gonna throw out after we go to the hospital. I just don't wanna be barefoot in a hospital, especially like in the shower and stuff, just for sanitary reasons. So I decided to get myself some cheap flip-flops. They were literally like a dollar. And then I also got some slippers. So these are from Walmart. These are kind of like grandma slippers in my opinion because the ones I wear are these ones. So these are obviously a lot cuter, but I just got the cheapest ones I could find just because I'm likely gonna just throw them out after, which I know sounds like wasteful. It's just the fact that like we're in a hospital and I wanna keep that stuff separate from like home life for like sanitary and bacteria reasons. So that's just what I opted for. And these are like the anti-slip underneath. They were $8 from Walmart. Um, so I like that option for the hospital. I also got some cozy socks. These are just from the dollar store. Super like just cozy. Um, I'm also missing my clothes. I forgot to mention that. I'm missing the clothes that I'm going to be coming back home in, which is just like sweatpants and a big t-shirt because I'm wearing that until I give birth. So that's not packed yet, just because it's like a last minute thing. Also, it could be the clothes I'm wearing to go there. Obviously, I'm not gonna be like, well, who knows if I'm gonna be that up? We don't know when it's gonna happen. That's the, that's like the <laughs> annoying but exciting thing about it is that it can happen anytime. Like it could be the middle of the night, you could be out like at a restaurant, you could be just like chilling at home. Like you don't know when it's gonna happen. So <laughs> depending on that time, I will however, like close to the due date, if I'm like pushing the due date, I will have the bag at the door and likely in my car whenever I go somewhere. And then I'm gonna have everything packed up just to be safe. And then I got these two masks just because there's like new waves of, you guys know what, happening so just in case the hospital needs me to wear a mask i have some masks ready and then i'm gonna bring this robe i literally just picked this up at walmart it's so so soft it was twenty dollars and it's literally just gonna be to like hang out at the hospital especially good like for breastfeeding because obviously you can open it up very easy access um i also just love like what this feels like i might start wearing this before we go to the hospital actually so i just got this to be cozy at the hospital and just have like my essentials there my self-care stuff and just feel good I have this little um pouch in the suitcase i hope you guys can see from there so there's this like zipper pouch you can put whatever you want i just put extra underwear just because we don't know again how long i'm going to be there so that is what is in here i'm bringing my instax camera now obviously i'm going to be bringing my phone my boyfriend has his phone so we're going to be taking pictures that way too. But I kind of wanted this style of picture just because it's really, really cool. It's very like retro and I have been making some um, photo albums and like memory books, souvenir books for the baby throughout my pregnancy. And then I'm starting one once she's born and it already has some Instax pictures from her baby shower. So I just thought I would like continue that kind of vibe. These are just like super fun. You can put them in your wallet, whatever. And this is an extra film for the camera. I have this waist trainer. So this is actually linked in my Amazon storefront for you guys. So if you're interested, check it out. It's linked down below. So I do have this already in there. 
So this is just a waist trainer for after birth. Now, I don't know if there's actually like a science behind it, but I heard really great reviews from women who have given birth and have worn a waist trainer right away. And this is the wraparound. You guys can see how like, how many layers, not layers, but like how much fabric there is here because it goes around you many, many times. So it's not just the one that like snaps in, or has a velcro like the one I was using before I got pregnant. This is really the one that like wraps you up. So this is the one I opted for. Also has different size options, obviously depending on how small your waist is. So I just thought I would do this. I don't know if I'm gonna be comfortable after birth to do that, but I do intend to get back into waist training afterwards and then eventually working out with it. But that's like, that's not right now. <laughs> then the last item in my suitcase is my birth binder so I know I'm a little bit crazy I don't know I slipped the word <laughs> I'm a little bit um I'm a little bit of a planner okay we'll put it that way created myself a birth binder so basically what this is is a binder all about like your birth plan um, your personal information so I can have everything listed so we're not like scattering looking for things or looking for like my insurance number or looking for things like that and then it also has all of the information from the prenatal classes I've been taking and I intend on like highlighting stuff and making notes I've been taking virtual prenatal classes which they have different um, categories so we did a CPR one and then we also did one for like labor up until the first few weeks of the baby's life and then there's some for like after the baby and then postpartum ones so all the information that we've learned from the classes that was sent to us i printed and i put in here to have as a reference in the hospital and also like for when we get home so far we have the hospital bag checklist so this is just something that the pdf i will link the pdf as well i bought this on etsy it was ten dollars for the whole bundle so um there's the hospital bag checklist which i found online and i kind of made my own version of but it's just extra like it's just nice to have like extra things so i printed the one that has the pre-populated and then i also have one that is blank so she gives you both options in the bundle which is really nice the categories is before so before the baby <laughs> birth plan birth story which i think is super cute i also will write it in the um like memoir book labor um feeding newborn and then postpartum and then i guess just like others so for the before all i have is the hospital bag checklist now for the birth plan this one is really cute so this one is basically i'm just gonna hide my doctor's name <laughs> so this is the page for the birth plan um they do have a pre-populated one as an example on the template so it's basically like environment like um soft music or whatever you want and then you can edit it on the pdf i chose to just print it blank and then do it by hand just because i like to do that but this is really good it's very helpful especially like if you give a copy to the nurses and the doctor so they know like what to expect from you and then we have the birth story so this one is super cute as well this is a page about your birth story and it actually gives you like an extra page if you want to continue so it says um like birth details date time blah 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 birthing position stuff like that so you can fill whatever you like here and then i know i'm going to bring this to the hospital so i'm going to fill that there and then the rest i can do at home when i come back but at least i'll have like the date the time all that so i don't forget or there's just there's a lot going on in your mind right so you just want everything like written down i do personally then there's labor so these are some of the um pages that we received in our courses so there's stuff about like understanding labor, so the phases of labor, and then there's different like affirmations as well that I can like write myself, like you got this, or you know, I can just reference this, or especially for my boyfriend or whoever the support person is in the room, like while you're delivering, you can always write stuff for them to like encourage you with. <laughs> so like words of affirmation, or if you don't like words of affirmation, it could be something else. <laughs> whatever you want personally so this is just like different labor information so I find it really great as like a reference because in the moment I know I'm not gonna remember all these things and there's also like different like labor positions that I could be doing to like 
help the baby and stuff. So those things I'm not gonna think of in the moment. I just wanna be prepared for the worst and then have like a smooth labor. <laughs> and then the feeding section is all about like feeding, how often to feed, like breast milk and stuff like that. And then newborn, this is super cute as well. So this is the newborn tracker that came in the PDF. So from this, it's, um, so you track like the baby's milk intake and then the diapers as well. And, and then it, she also added to the bundle an appointment tracker, which I think is really nice as well. So this is like when you go to the doctor for the follow-up appointments, date time, and then baby checks. So what they checked for the, uh, the baby and then mama checks. So obviously what they checked for the mom. So I really like that. And then there's the postpartum. So this one is like different supports and different resources planning for life after baby. So again, these are resources from our prenatal classes, but definitely check in your area if you have some. I highly recommend taking those. Also prenatal yoga that I've been doing, amazing. Just like no words, just amazing. I'm a very visual person, so this definitely helps me. Obviously you don't have to make a birth binder. <laughs> I don't know what percentage of the population does this. But I'll tell you, I'm in that percentage for sure. <laughs> so that is it for what's in my hospital bag. Thank you guys so much for watching. I also wanna thank everybody whose videos I watched growing up. It just gave me such like hope, like one day that's gonna be me. So if you are watching this and whatever you're going through, you are praying for a baby. I hope this happens for you. I'm praying for you, I'm thinking of you because it is so far an amazing experience. Again, I haven't given birth and I have not raised a child. But so far, being pregnant, knowing that this is the next chapter of my life brings me such joy and I'm so excited. So I wish this for everybody who wants this. If you guys have anything that I should add to my hospital bag, it's not too late. <laughs> I'm still due in a few weeks. So we got time, girl. Definitely leave your suggestion in the comment section. I would love to hear them. And as I mentioned, don't forget to check out my description box for my socials. Amazon storefront and all of the links I mentioned plus discount codes for so many brands shopping and beauty etc so make sure you check those out if you're interested and until next time just know that I love you you are valued and be kind to yourselves bye guys